To create that blade design, you need to add a cylinder with the 64 volts. After that, you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis. Then you need to switch to the face mode and then select its top faces and then delete this faces. Then select this face loop and then delete this and here select these faces and recalculate the normal. Then select these faces and use the extra operation and adjust the offset amount. And then delete the center faces. Use one more time the extra operation and adjust the offset amount and adjust the scale of that each loop. Then you can select these faces and delete these faces. You need to delete the faces in this manner. You need to keep a six faces in between every deleted two faces. After getting this kind of design, you need to go to the vertex mode and you need to select these words, center words, and then you need to use the average words at there. After that, you need to use your knife tool and then you need to create the loop structure around this design, around this boolean, or you can say the cutouts in this way. Then here you can select these words and you can merge these words. So you will get the right face loop structure around that cutout. And then you can dissolve these edges. You can select this face loop and then delete this face loop and then delete those faces. You will get this kind of part and then you need to rotate this part. You can edit that pivot point to the center of the origin and you can duplicate that part and rotate it. And it is more easier way. Then you need to select all these shapes and then right click and then combine them. Then you can select all the words and then merge them, adjust the merge threshold. And you can see I'm not getting right face loops at there because there are some unwanted words so we need to dissolve those words. And now you can see I'm getting that face loop. Then you can select these edges, these outer edges with a shift select. And then rotate this edges in small angle so I can get this kind of blade shape. And then use your knife tool or loop cut, insert each loop and you can add this kind of loop cuts toward the border to maintain that form. It's total depend on your design, which kind of design you want. According to that, you need to keep the order of your steps. If you want perfectly curved cutouts, then you need to create that loop structure after rotating these faces. Then only you will get a perfectly curved cutouts at there. In this case, I have created that loop structure before rotating these faces. So I will get a little bit different result. And then you can see that's look good. Then you can select all these faces and you can extrude these faces and you can increase its thickness a little bit and that's fine. That's look good. And then you can go to the object mode. Then you can hit the control 3 to get that smooth subdivision. And you can add more loop cuts at here from that outer border to maintain its form. And now you can see the blade looks really well. It looks decent. We can add more details on it. You can select these faces with the cross selection in this way and holding the shift key. And here I just want to create a simple looking boolean details. Then shift right click and use the circleize option and adjust the scale at there that radius offset and you will get this kind of circular details. Use one more time extrude operation and scale this along the z axis and create a simple looking boolean detail. Delete those faces, select this each loops and then breach each loops and you can fill these gaps. You can select these face loops and then you can press shift S to add that offset, that insert operation or you can use the extrude operation and you can adjust that offset. You can use any way add there. It's look decent. You can see the topology of the model, you can see the smoothness and the form of the model. So in this way you can create this kind of blade design in Maya. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button and please subscribe our YouTube channel for more Maya tutorials. Bye bye. So next video, take care. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. 
I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'm a work nine.